So today I'm going to teach you how to use BitTorrent. Um, so you can use BitTorrent to download your favorite TV shows, your favorite movies, um, even some software you might not have that you want. Um, so what I'll start by doing is launch my browser and I'll go to my website, marxisrobby.com, take it from me. And what I'll do is I'll find the posts. Looking for me right now, it's, it is the first one on the page. Um, if you go to take it from me over here on the side, actually you can go to tutorials. Through tutorials, you'll find the post. Uh, hopefully, um, it'll still be on this list when you read it. Um, go to the post, and we'll start with step one, and that is downloading um, your BitTorrent client. So if you're on the OS X platform, which this tutorial is guided towards, um, you'll need to download Transmission. So you can do that by clicking on transmissionbt.com. And go over to the download section of their page and download transmission 1.6 is the current version. I'll save the file. I'll click OK. Once this is done downloading, I can click right here on this icon and I double click here and it'll launch the image. It'll set this up and it'll pop right on my screen. You see that right there in the back. And all I'll do is click on transmission, drag into my applications. That'll copy. Once it's done copying, I can eject this. Don't need that anymore. I can close transmission site. And I'll go to Finder. I'll click Applications. And if I just hit T on my keyboard, I can find transmission a lot faster. So I'm going to tease transmission. I'll double click. See how it launches over here in uh, my taskbar. It's asking me if I want to open this. This is from the internet. Yes, open. Move this over here for me. Um, before I start torrenting, um, I want to set up my client. There are a couple things I do to tweak it just to make it um, a more friendly user experience. So just go to Transmission, Preferences, and start with the General tab. And I'll auto resize my windows and auto update um, daily. Let's see if there's anything to update. Under Transfers, I will change my default location to Downloads and keep incomplete files into Downloads as well. I'll also trash my original torrent files. So what will happen is when you download the torrent files um, and you open them successfully with transmission once you've added your torrent, um, you don't actually need the torrent file anymore. It just um, has that location information. And once transmission has that inside its application, you don't need the torrent file anymore. And I'll auto add files from downloads, torrent files from downloads. <coughs> what that'll do is um, as you launch transmission, if you have any torrents lying around in there, it'll prompt you to auto add them. And that'll be helpful if you, let's say, download something by and forget about it. You don't want to leave it sitting there. You can get it going right away. Um, under management, there's nothing really here you can change. You can change the uh, sounds here if you like. I'll stay with glass. You don't need anything under groups, so I'll go to bandwidth. And I've spoken already about uh, the upload rate. You want to make sure this is set to 20. I think by default it's 100. But uh, based on my um, internet connection, I'm going to change this to 20. And I'm going to go to Peers and Global Maximum Connections. I'll just put this up to 1,000. And Maximum Connections, 500. I just figure uh, more people um, uh, more people to connect to, more people to download from. Um, let's see. And block list right here. So prevent known bad peers from connecting. So what I'll do is I'll update this list. And all this is doing is blocking people who have been mischievous or malevolent in some way, who have uh, been uploading bad torrents or bad files or whatnot. And I'll prevent, automatically update, go to network, and I'll make sure that the prevent computer from sleeping is checked as well, because you don't want your computer falling asleep, then your torrents won't progress. Let's say you leave your computer on overnight to finish a big download, um, and the computer will fall asleep, and it won't finish the transfer. You also want to make sure this light over here is green. If this is yellow or red, it means you've got a problem with your connection, maybe with your network. Um, if you're downloading from school or from work, this might be an issue. So you can talk to your network administrator. If you're at home, um, there are simple ways of opening this up. If your firewall isn't disabled or uh, some network settings aren't set properly, this won't be green. So uh, I'll put some in together um, afterwards so that you can you can better take advantage of an open network um, because you will experience uh, faster download speeds if it's uh, if it's set properly. So I'll close this for now. <coughs> also close transmission. Step two will be downloading my torrent files. Um, so for one, it is Sunday evening right now, and what I'll actually do 
is I'm going to go to Easy TV, which is the website that I use for TV shows. And what's good about Easy TV is on the day of, it'll tell you what day it is. And we are going to look at, actually this is, we're actually in the AM, so <laughs> it's looking at Monday. But um, just this past night, um, we got Law and Order, Criminal Intent, American Dad, Family Guy, Simpsons, all this good stuff. So I'm going to start by downloading The Simpsons. And I'm going to get this pop-up. And what it's going to say is, what do you want to do with this torrent file? I'm going to do save file automatically from now on. It's not going to ask me again. And what will happen is I have Firefox set to download automatically to the downloads folder. So once I download this, I'm going to get the prompt. This will finish. And then you see this popped up in the background over here. Um, Transmission's asking me, do I want to add this? I'm going to say, of course, yes, right away. Um, it's going to go into my downloads folder. It's going to trash the tort file and start when added. So if I go into the finder and look at my downloads folder, I'll actually see this, this torrent file is going to disappear as soon as I click add. And there it's gone. So now everything's been added here into transmission. So what I'll do is I'll double click. And I can get some more information on the torrent if I want. You can sort of look around here. Um, you can see the peers that you're connecting to. So I'm already connecting to a lot of people. And these are going to be the people I've been downloading from. And some people are also seeding or leeching as well. So there's some people who are still downloading. But uh, you don't need to concern yourself with this. It's not a big deal. Um, you can sort of play with this on your own, and you can learn yourself as, as time passes. Um, so that'll be something I'll want to download. Um, let's see, what else do I want? I can do Family Guy. And that loads well, too. I can close this, add, and American Dad. Sometimes these initial links aren't working. You need to use a mirror. So what I'll do over here is I'm going to try choosing the second link. And what you'll see is it'll actually take you to a different website. Sometimes you get some pop-ups, which are annoying. 